Hi, it's Martha here. I'm back. And I thought to celebrate my absolute love of the Witch's Tarot that I would do a little reading. And if you feel the deck has resonated with you, it might just give you a little bit of a, an idea of the way it reads. And you can by all means take this reading to be especially for you if you've decided, yeah, I'm going to watch this video. And let's just say it's, it's a reading until the end of the month, until the end of Halloween. How about that? And it's just a general reading about, well, let's just say it's a general reading. I don't normally like to do general readings. I believe tarot is a conversation. And I think when you come to the tarot with a question, um, you, you enhance the reading experience. You really do, because it's a conversation between you and the deck, first and foremost. I mean, the reader is literally just there to mediate. Because I often feel that people will find that um, the ability to read is almost innate within you anyway, because cards will jump out at you, images will jump out at you, and they mean something. It's symbolic. And look, if it resonates with you, we'll just look at what the rest of the month might bring. Okay, and if there's anything in particular that you maybe need to know, and especially the way things are now, I know here in Ireland, we were told that um, with the whole COVID situation that we were going to be back to normal. Everything was going to open up by the 22nd of October. And now we've been told that that's not the case. They're actually keeping a lot of the restrictions in place until January. So, look, it can be around that, it, whatever. If there's something that you need to know by the end of October. Now, I don't, I use spreads sometimes. And sometimes I just pick randomly. I go with what comes out. I go with what feels right. So, let's just take a minute. You know, you could light a candle if you wanted to. You could sit back if you're on your own and just relax, take a couple of deep breaths, okay? And if it's your first time ever having a reading, there's nothing to worry about. You know, it's, it's as I said, it's a conversation. That's all it is. It's a conversation and the tarot has no ownership over you, okay? It doesn't in any way say that these are the events that are going to happen and you're going to have to live with that. That is not the case. What it speaks about is the way things are now. And if you want things to stay the same way, this is the way the energy is moving. If you don't want things to stay the same way, you can maybe learn from the tarot cards and change what you're doing. Or you can just say, no, I don't accept that. And it's not for me. And that's the end of the story. It's like you would do with any other conversation that you are having with a person. You can accept what they're saying or not. It's up to you, okay? So let's look at the end of October, up to the end of October, including Halloween, and maybe what we need to know, okay? Hope you've lit that candle. It's always nice to set the scene, okay? Okay, so the first card we have is the Ten of Coins. I really love this card. This card is... I well, What I feel for me is this card is always about the wealth in our lives that we have accumulated. And I don't mean just money, okay? I mean the wealth we have accumulated in our lives from our friends, from the jobs that we work at, from our homes, our cars, our houses, our everything okay and of course the most important thing are bodies and what we have what we have received from our ancestors what has come down to us and sometimes we're called to actually stand back and take a bigger look at that okay and see a wider picture and to be open to kind of accepting that what we have received 
has come sometimes off the backs of other people. We don't live, you know, in isolation. We, everything we have comes from other people who have lived before us and, and the people directly around us. And sometimes we forget that, okay, with the devil. And people worry about this card, and I understand that, you know, it, it's got connotations attached. But in actual fact, the devil card actually reminds us sometimes that we can forget that others have given to us, okay? They've given a lot to us. And, you know, we sometimes don't give back. We sometimes do. We give too much. We're sometimes not grateful. But the devil card also reminds us to actually just enjoy things too. You know, I always think with the devil card, we think of words like lust. We think of desire. We, You know, those words that are associated with the devil card. And I often think, well... If you didn't have a lust for life, where would you be? If you didn't desire anything, what would be the point in anything? So the devil card is reminding us to not just hoard what we have, not just hoard what we've been given, but to actually enjoy it, but to also be grateful for it. You know, don't that let that little demon on your shoulder, you know, tell you that you don't need to help others or you don't need to... You don't need to give back because we do need to give back. But we also very much need to enjoy what we have instead of maybe comparing what we have with other people and seeing lack in our lives. Um, and we all do that. I mean, look, you know, that's who we are. That's that's just people. And a card has just jumped out at me and it's the two of swords. OK. And the other one is the three of coins. So if you take into account the fact that we have the ten of coins and all the wealth that we've accumulated and what has passed down to us and what we have that we can pass on. And as I said, it just doesn't have to be money. It's, I mean, some of your, what, what is your greatest asset? Think what your greatest asset is, is the very body you're sitting in. How are you treating that, you know? Have you any addictions around that? Is there anything that you're maybe you could do better? Are you exercising enough? Are you taking care of the wealth that you have? Because it didn't come to you out of nowhere. It didn't come out of a void. Yes, you put hard work into it too. You did. Okay. And we need to be clear about that. All right. And maybe we need to acknowledge the fact that others have helped us, but also acknowledge the fact that we could also help too. We could also um, give of our time with the resources that we have. So maybe coming up to October, don't just celebrate, you know, our loved ones that have passed on, but also think of, is there anyone around you that could do with your guidance if you've done really well in life is there anyone that could you know take a leg up um and it's about making the decision around that it's about seeing what you know not analyzing things too much but actually seeing who you could provide guidance to or who you could maybe take guidance from it's okay to um see the bigger picture see the wider picture in your life of what you have why you have it, um, are you enjoying it, are you not enjoying it, are you like have all of this around you, all this life around you but you're not doing anything with it, uh, you're hoarding it, you don't want to um, give in to the devil and you know just have a lust for life and enjoy it because you maybe feel that's wrong or you just need to stop for a moment and see what you have and it's that need to as I said give and uh, maybe receive as well, be open, be receptive to, you know, to, to guidance from other people and that too is an asset, okay? That too is an asset and what you can give is an asset to other people, okay? And what could come out of that? Everything.
<laughs> absolutely everything could come out of that. So I think it's a real big picture reading towards the end of October. I think there's a real, real feeling of the celebration of what October stands for. For me, I just Halloween is just total celebration for me. I absolutely love it. And I love the idea that like very much here in Ireland it is because we go straight into All Saints Day after All Souls Day after that um, on the 1st of November and then you have the whole week where people go to the graveyards and we celebrate the dead but you know what it's also about ce celebrating the material world around you everything you have including your body and being prepared to give and receive on that end and you know what? You just don't know what can happen and you don't know what can come back to you um, when you give out to others. So, and that's going to end on the world card. And I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it and you have an idea of the way that this deck reads because it's a very... Do you think it's a big picture deck? I think it's a big picture deck still, the same way as the, the Major Arcana was. So I hope you enjoyed that little gift for you. I just offered it so um, I was just inspired to do it. I hope you liked it. I hope you love the deck and if you do um, support the artist. It's always good to support artists. So thank you very much. Be good and enjoy. Bye.